Still unable to find the results, Coach Lippert makes a trip out to Essex to visit his wife Colleen at work. She accompanied them on their recent trip to Chicago. I think it, they were more shocked. Well, like the serves were hard, like really hard serves. And it was, um, you almost like, you could almost tell they're like, oh God, oh God, please don't, please don't, please don't go to me. And then you just, like the noise slapping off their arms. Sean pretty much blocks out um, whether he wins or loses. He comes home the same person. Like he really doesn't, it doesn't carry over. It doesn't, you know, he's not angry. He's not upset. He's just like, yep, we did good. Yep, we lost. It's not really, he just kind of moves on to the next thing. He doesn't really dwell. She's, uh... One of the reasons why I married her is that she's just so understanding and she knows what my passion is and things that, that you know, that are going to affect our, our private life. Coach Lippert still has a couple of hours until he needs to be back at the St. Dennis Center. Blaze, fresh from his game day nap, is meeting up with some friends after the Christmas break. Hey, buddy. Just saying, well, well. Come on. Give me a hug, guy. What's going on, brother? Good. Good. And how you doing? Good. I don't know if I like yogurt. I just got it because, like, I usually like it. I'm trying to be healthier. I feasted on like four bags of Doritos on the train yesterday. Oh, at Lewis, they had the worst chirps. Like, I can't believe how bad it was. It was like a bunch of first years and they're just sitting there and like you'd go back to serve and they'd be like, Blaze, hey Blaze. And that was it. And I was like, what? <laughs> they did that to everyone. Like <laughs> Kyle, Kyle went back to serve and be like, Kyle, Kyle, hey Kyle. He wouldn't look and they'd just give up. What? It was so pitiful. I've never been so embarrassed for fans <laughs> in my life. Yeah. Over. That's it. Um, do you guys want to do something? Like, I feel... 2019. Yes, go! Oh. 20s. If, if my mindset is... I want to win, then that's the one thing I definitely want to bring. Because these guys, if anybody, they deserve to win. And I will definitely try and bring that mindset for them to get a victory on the next game. It's funny because you see a guy that's a rookie and he brings so much leadership at the same time. And I remember hearing about him before he came in. Guys were saying, oh, yeah, he's the type of guy that he'll be the captain when our captain's gone. And now having him here, I can see that when I'm gone, that's someone I would have no problem passing it on to to be the next captain. And I would definitely be the one to go to Lippert and say, you know, uh, this is the guy that should be the captain after I'm gone. Two. Will is my vet, my veteran, and we all had to make our vets a shirt. And I made him that shirt actually as a joke. And it was just these sayings that we said during the year. But he made me wear it the other day when he found out that I was getting filmed. So I wore it today for practice. And it's got, you saw the picture of him on the front and his name on the back. So that's why I had to wear that. Um, I don't know. He just thought it'd be funny if I looked like an idiot. So that's Will. Kyle is preparing his mid-afternoon breakfast, made up of his usual ingredients, bacon and eggs. So we're going to make the breakfast I talked about earlier. Got to get them nice and runny everywhere. And then hope that I can be successful on the flip again. I don't know if that's going to happen though. Seasoning salt. I forgot to put the seasoning salt on the eggs till after I cooked them. So I think it's going to be a little bit strong. Ooh. Salty. Way too salty. Oh, these are terrible. 
I really messed these up. Oh, these are bad. I cooked that one. Must have been the flip. Ugh. Please just try this piece right there. I don't like you. And watch how unbelievably salty it is. Facial reaction? <laughs> oh yeah, brutal. <laughs> Coach Lippert is back in his office and is eager to find out the results to Timo's test. Sean, I was able to get the official document will be sent. Alright. Applicant. Open. <laughs> he passed. Timo passed. Let's call him. All right, if we can get him registered, he actually can play tonight. He's going to be so happy. Hi. Timo? Hi, yes. Bonjour. Bonjour. Uh, you ready? You want to find out how you did? Yes. Okay. You passed. I passed? You passed. Yeah. Bye. He's probably gonna call home all the way to south of France. So yeah, he's pretty excited. After the positive news, he sends a mass text message to the rest of the team. The effects are immediately felt by Wasser. Timo can play. He just passed his English test. That's awesome, man. I might call him, that's so sick. As game time approaches, Kyle gathers his things and gets ready to head to the team dinner. His family, who rarely miss a game, send him off to get ready for the game themselves. Uh, I don't think there's been a game my parents haven't missed since I've been playing, uh, unless they're gone away somewhere. But uh, they've always been supportive, understanding, late nights. Obviously right now we're at nine o'clock practices, so it's tough to get home on time. And a lot of the time I don't end up going home after, stay in Windsor or in LaSalle, my girlfriend's house. So it's a little bit different, but you know, they're supportive, no doubt. Love ya. Yes. Yeah, we'll you. Love yes. <laughs> yep, catch you later. <laughs> Gotta grab some pasta. My bag. What? Nice turn signal. <laughs> road rage. <laughs> yeah, in case you didn't know, I have terrible road rage. I freak out, ram people like this guy. Wow. I'm just kidding. <laughs> We're just hopping into Rizzo's to grab some pasta because I was too lazy to make anything. This local place. This is actually one of the places in Venezuela that I used to work at and got fired from. Over the phone. <laughs> That's Rizzo's. <laughs> bunch of jerks, but they have good pasta. But it's a bunch of jerks. Oh, Timo passed. Oh, good. Yeah, Timo. Did you know this? Well, Timo, he's from France. He had to pass. Uh, I think it's a fantasy test so he could play. And he officially passed. I don't know if you can read that, but it says I passed. That is unreal. Timo is an amazing bubble player and we really need him. Unreal, he can play tonight. Timo is probably one of my better friends on the team despite being from France, only knowing a minimal amount of time. But yeah, and I don't know if you can see the can you see it from Lippert. Since it's the newest announcement, uh, newest member of the roster, uh, Timo. That's so sick. I'm so happy. I got goosebumps right now. I feel, I'm so happy for him. He can, he can play tonight for sure. Oh, I'm pumped. I want to call him right now. Blaze is also texting me right now saying he's bored and feels awkward and doesn't know what to do in front of the camera. So he said, I'm watching videos. What are you doing? And I said, driving. He asked me to go meet up with him. I'm like, I live half hour away. I'm not going to meet up with you. 
I got a lot of bad combos going. Low fuel and change oil soon are both flashing in my car. That's a first. I don't know if I've ever had that before. <laughs> but I got to be a volleyball in 13 minutes, so no time to change the car stuff. The team begins to arrive at the St. Dennis Center for dinner. Usually the team has food catered that includes pasta, bread, and salad. Tonight, they were responsible for their own food. Despite the fact that everyone has smiles, there are still many decisions to be made about who will start and who will sit. Lingering injuries, inconsistent play, and the addition of Timo makes the decision harder than usual. Assistant coach Jeff Hackett was away for this game, but called in after dinner to talk about some of these decisions. Uh, Hackett. Hello? Lippert. Hey, you're on speakerphone, so you know. It, it's Hackett, yeah, it's okay, it's Hackett from Florida. Hey, what's going on? <laughs> what's up, brother? Doing good, so you got the message, Timo's in, eh? I just got your, t literally, I walked out of the pool, I put down my Long Island iced tea, <laughs> on my phone, and the first message that popped up was, I'd like to welcome the newest friends to Timo. And you know what I thought of? What's that? I was saying, I love this kid. <laughs> <laughs> Gravy, eh? I love That's this kid. That's awesome news, dude. Yeah, so, uh, you know what? I don't know if we'll put him in the start, but we definitely have him an option to throw him in, you know, if, if things get a little dicey. Yeah, I wouldn't start him, but I think he's definitely an option to freaking go to. I mean, if Tal's got a bad digit or if Ryan's not playing so hot, I would definitely roll with him, man. Like, yeah. you have absolutely nothing to lose. No, so it's a, an option for us. So, yeah, good, good, good news. After dinner, the team goes up to the field house to watch the women's team play Toronto. Meanwhile, Ryan Lee a third-year player and starter for the Lancers, has been battling a back injury and is downstairs having it worked on. Dr. Dave Pichet, University of Windsor and Lancer alumnus, is the team's lead trainer. They are hoping to be able to work out any last-minute kinks Ryan might be feeling. It's football time here at the St. Dennis Center, January 6, 2012. The Toronto Varsity Blues taking on your University of Windsor Lancers. It's the first game after the winter break. Your Lancers is coming back from a long road trip, taking a train up to Chicago, Illinois. It's going to be huge because uh, the beginning of the season we started off great with a couple, a handful of wins in a row, and then near the end we started we had a couple more losses on our team, or losses in the season. So we think a win would put us in the right direction to head for the rest of the season, and we can start with a win. We're hoping to finish with a win. One step closer to the championship, hands down. It's all it is. It's all we want, one at a time. Uh, just a win. One point at a time, one set at a time, to one match at a time. That's all it is. If we keep it simple like that, it won't have a problem. Play to our full ability. We're still waiting for that game where everything just clicked and everything is going right and nothing's going wrong and everything's going our way. And that hasn't happened yet, where everyone's played their full potential and the game just comes naturally to us, so we're all aiming towards that, that one game that we're waiting for. They're coached well, their defense is phenomenal. They're, out of all the teams, out of all the teams in the league, including Mac, Queens, Western, defensively, Toronto is a brick wall. No, you, you beat them, over time, you know, but they're relentless in their defense. They dig and put it back at you. Dig, put it back at you. If you're having an off day and you put up more errors and you put on a score, you're going to lose it, Toronto. They're, it's inevitable that they're going to steal a game sometime this year. 